everyone and welcome back to Stella Zone. Today we're going to be cooking together again. I'm going to be the lead and Stella is my wonderful assistant. My, your sous chef. Huh? My sous chef, okay <laughs> sure. So today we're going to be cooking Ghana palm nut soup. One of my favorites and we're going to be doing it with uh, pasture raised chicken that we got from grassroots and all these other fine ingredients. So uh, before we get into that, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button and of course hit that bell icon, enable all notifications so that you know whenever we upload a video or go live. Trust me, like any live event, it's never the same when you watch it after it's over. So you want to participate and beyond those live events, make sure you enable those notifications. You are doing a video, you need to look at the camera, stop looking at me. I don't know, I can't help it, sorry. <laughs> anyway. So today, Ghana palm nut soup. <clears throat> we have our ingredients here. Of course, the main palm nut cream is going to be one of our main ingredients. We don't have the, the Ghana uh, palm nut fruit uh, you know, today, but this has been second best. So we like it and we're going to use that. Okay. We also have our, our uh, how do you call it when you burn it? I, I sort of like, you know, um, Ghana, when we kill the chicken, you roast it a little bit on the fire to get rid of like the hair, the little hair and everything. So that's what I was doing in the house today. <laughs> yep, set off the smoke alarm and everything. So, so we got that. But you said it smelled good. It smelled good. It did. So again, we have our, uh, we have our spinach here. We have basil. We have chopped up uh, yellow onion, shallots and garlic and ginger. We have lots of ginger, lots, lots of, of ginger, garlic. lots of garlic, and we have we're using our cocoa. Um, Steve said basil, yeah, a cocoa mesa. So, a cocoa mesa, mesa, a cocoa mesa. <laughs> okay, uh, we got a couple of tomatoes, we have uh, four habanero peppers, we have uh, a bunch of garden eggs here, and we have about four or five okra pieces of okra. So, let's get started, huh? You need a break. <laughs> so like I, he said, I'm the sous chef, but it's more like, <laughs> I'm going to be doing that good thing, but let's not say it out loud. So yes, um, we have our ingredients here. And I wanted to clarify something about the chicken. I have like the hand, the stew hand, um, which I'm going to be using to make the soup. And I also i am using the uh, pasture raised chicken that I got from Grassroot. I'm going to use that as that. well. Yeah. So, no, I just wanted you didn't mention the part where I, I added the hen. Oh, the hen. So, plus um, we have fish. Which plus, is not the, yeah, out. plus I have um, some baked fish, which is blue um, runner. Blue runner. So, I and will add that. What, whiting? No, just a blue runner. The oh, whiting okay. is the fried fish that I made, fried which fish. is not for the soup. Not for the soup. So, to start, sir, you're going to take your meat and put it on, in your. First, we're going to cook the meat. Okay. And then we will cook. The stew and add the meat in stew? afterwards. Now it's stew. It's soup. Okay, stew, soup. You know, same <laughs> thing. Like put a bunch of vegetables in a pot with some water, and it's gonna cook it. I don't understand. You love palm nut soup, so yeah. this is you learning how to make it. Okay. okay. So so, so I that I can it. take a vacation and go to Ghana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Without you be like, I need my cook here. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's just get started. So um, I'm right. going to transfer. All right. I will prep this. So while Steven is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and um, blend the seasoning that is going to go on the chicken. So like he said, I have some shallots here, some regular yellow onions. Nathaniel is trying to look <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> I, I have to put you back here. I have a good amount of ginger. Okay. And also a good amount of garlic. You can use as much as you want. We eat a lot of garlic in this house. And so I'm going to take some you. of the basil leaves, okay? I'm going to rinse it and add it in here. I'll be right back. Add your add a little bit of water and then blend it, okay? So Nathaniel's like, give me out. <laughs> Now this is ready. I'm going to take this and then we'll go over to where the um, burner is and then we'll, we'll start throwing things together. All right, so we're adding in our blended veggies here. We have our heat on high on the, on the meat here. So we're adding in all that goodness. 
All right, I have the remnants there. Okay, so now you can throw in the basil that I had left. Extra basil. Extra basil. Extra comesa. You add your badia seasoning. Badia? Mm -hmm. Where's that badia? Eyeball it. Mm-hmm. Let's spread it all over it. What are you doing? Are you afraid of the badia? Making sure the top doesn't come off. Oh, it won't come off. Okay. Now, then you go in and add a little bit of salt. We are going to be using kosher salt. So. Of course. Ah, put it in. <laughs> That's too little. Add a... One more? Mm -hmm. What Are you afraid of the salt? I like my blood pressure. <laughs> I know, it's like you add about a teaspoon of salt because the deer already has salt. So just add a little. Okay, All right, so, so we're going to let this to, uh, yeah. cook in and uh, cover this in the end 15 minutes. And yeah. So sous chef is back in um, the office, okay? Oh, sorry, let me get this. What I'm doing now is I'm prepping the spinach, okay, for the soup. So I'm just going to take the tip off. You can do this too with your hands. But I know you want to get off. But you will be all over this kitchen, and I don't want that. So he wants to be a cameraman. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to do it yet. To do it, I'm using the whole spinach, and you don't have to. I just want to like chop it up, slice it up, dice it up, whichever way you want it. But you can you can put the whole like spinach in there. You don't have to do anything to. But just make sure it's washed, okay? So I'm just cutting this up a bit, and then I will wash it. You're doing a great job, sous chef. <laughs> so the peppers rinsed okay and then the garden eggs what you want to do is just take the um the top or the head off okay mm -hmm. and then you cut it into two all right okay come on So here's the spinach, okay? It's washed, okay? Nice and clean. Washed. Washed, washed, washed. Um, I need my onion, so. I need the onion. <laughs> All right, since I obviously know what I'm doing here, because I'm a chef, I'm gonna now take the meat out from here and uh, kind of just put it over here to let it not cook while we're cooking the soup, because we want the soup to cook a little bit, and then we'll add the meat in halfway through. So that's what we're doing right now. So obviously we're saving all the good juices and stock from the chicken because that's going to make the soup that much better. Okay. All right, next is our palm cream, the whole thing. I use um, about 70%. Uh, 70%, <laughs> 70 okay. <laughs> you can use that's half take one some calculation. That. Yeah, just, I feel like since it's just the two of us, um, if we use the whole thing, it would just be too much. All right, now we're going to stir it in there. Mm -hmm. mm, looking good already. Now that's starting to look like palm nut soup. This is more like palm nut stew. <laughs> uh, we're adding some water, right? Yep. Right. So we have, uh, what is it, eight cups here? Seven. Seven cups of water that uh, we may use all of it. We may not. So we're just going to add a bit by bit here and mix it in. There we are, we got, uh, still have, I don't know, two cups left. So about five cups of water? Yeah. We added. Okay, so at this point, so we added our water. So this is the point you want to add the tomatoes, the pepper, and the onions. Of course, that's, so. that's what I was about to tell you. <laughs> Steven is saying, honey, you are not going to shine my shine, no. Let me shine my shine. All right. Them all be on. So here's our tomatoes going gentle, in whole. Gentle, gentle. We have our shallot and our onion. Mm -hmm. Lots of onion. I like my onions. Four habanero, habanero. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're going to bring this to a boil. We're going to cook this what? Uncovered. Uncovered, yes, of course, uncovered for uh, what until it's boiling, yes, and then we'll add the meat back in. Okay, we're back and it's been about 10 minutes of this uh, now 
It's boiling really well. We're going to take all of these veggies out that are nice and soft and we're going to blend them because we're going to add them in later. Obviously that's why I put them in here. So we're blending. that's what we're going to do. Okay. Here we are. Got all this onion. All right, so we've blended it up and we're going to add it right back in there before we add our meat. Still that great orange color. Add water. All right, we're rinsing out the blender here and adding in a bit of water. We don't want Nigerian soup. Nathalia, leave. Nathalia, like, shake it. Nathalia wants to be cameraman here. All right, so we're going to have, um, bring this back to boil and then we will add everything else. Just like I told you. Except the spinach. Yeah. That's it. All right, according to my recipe, we're going to uh, now add the meat back in and then we're going to add the garden egg and okra um, and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Okra, <laughs> okra, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. Is so that let's, meat? Uh, Let's get our meat back in there. My uh, sous chef has graciously volunteered to add hey. the vegetables. With just a little bit of water. So now it's looking good, all right? It's looking, looking good. It's looking delicious. It's looking delicious. Here's my fish um, that I baked for Steven to cook with. So here's the fish. That's the blue runner. Yeah. Yummy. Mm -hmm. So we will put that in there as well. We, I know we have enough space. It's already pre-cooked, <laughs> so we don't need to cook it in the, the soup. So we'll add it at the end. Yeah, we'll add it like um, along with the ten, 10 minutes, like when it's like 10 minutes for the soup to be over. So we're going to cook this now that we've added the meats the, uh, and the um, vegetables. Okay. How long do we cook this for, sir? Just 15 minutes. Maybe 20. All right. Depending how I feel, you know, <laughs> I have to use my expertise to make sure it's 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 properly. It's done. All right, this has been cooking ten minutes. Sorry, we've been cooking ten minutes, and now we're gonna add in the fried fish, the blue runner over here, and then we're gonna let it go it's, ten more minutes. It's not fried; it's baked. Baked. Sorry, it's baked. My sous chef has informed me that this is baked. <laughs> this is fried fish. But this is for King Kyo Banku. Mm -hmm. why, are you are. Using, why are you using a spatula? I why? Why not? <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be in there for another 10 minutes and we're going to add the uh, spinach in about 5 minutes. Once the fish, the meat, everything is in there, except for the spinach, taste it to see if the level of salt or if the taste is, if you have the umami taste, okay? If not, then you can go ahead and add a little bit of salt to taste. So that's basically what I'm doing. All right, in our final piece de resistance, uh, we're going to add in the chopped up spinach. I didn't even hear what you said. Uh, piece de resistance, you know, it's the icing on the cake, the final piece of the puzzle, the last thing we're adding into the soup. And we're adding all the spinach. I mean, all the chopped spinach. You don't, yeah, you, and you don't have to add spinach, okay? Yeah, but this just, you know, yeah. add some green vegetables. Some green, some fiber, some healthiness. Not the to say it's not healthy, healthy you know, yeah. but you know, it's extra healthy. Now. My mom always emphasized on like adding green vegetables to food, like no matter what, even if you make it light soup, I'm like, seriously. There we go. All right. So now we're just going to let this go for about five more minutes and uh, we'll be ready to serve with some fufu that you hear cooking in the microwave. Stir this in. Yeah, even when you add the spinach, you can turn off the heat and you know it will cook. Like the heat will cook the spinach. So you want to do that? No, I just want the whole timer left to go. That's right. Steven is horrible at staring, just so you all know. You can see? I'm using my right hand. See, if I use my left, it wouldn't be so bad. 
when you make this soup, especially with the palm nut cream mixture, you have like a pot of hot water on standby because this soup is just going to keep thickening up. Like we've been adding water, okay? We've added about, I would say we used about seven cups of water, or let me just um, say eight cups of water. <laughs> water. Eight cups of water to make this soup. And as you can see, it's like still thick. So if you don't want it too thick, sorry guys, sorry. If you, sorry, if you don't want it too thick, just um, add water to just dilute it to whichever consistency you want. But like, you know, my Nigerian brothers and sisters, they like thick soup. So we Ghanaians, we don't. <laughs> Timer is up. All right, let's. Get the fufu going and eat some of this. Yeah, yeah. this this looks so good. So I'm gonna have my lovely sous chef here, also known as my wife, uh, <laughs> prepare the presentation of this uh, wonderful palm nut soup with fufu. All right, guys. So what is um palm nut soup in chi? Uh, Abengkwain. Good job. Oh wow, that was actually I wasn't expecting you to remember that. So we're going to get some fish. Of course, I'm going for fish head. I've been quite not doing. Oh, wait, we're having this with fufu. If you don't know what that is, it's um that big yellow thing. It's fufu, okay? And we're going to have some chicken. Chicken. Of course, I have to taste the chicken that I ordered online. <laughs> of course, I have to have some bones in there. <laughs> okay, so let's get some wings. Wings, wings, wings. Sorry. Forget the soup. Mm -mm. I will not forget to. I cannot forget the soup. Okay, so now then see I have to like make sure you go under him. Yeah, I see you know, I see you know, there. <laughs> so sure. Uh -huh. And then add some okra okra to it. I think that's it, right? Mm hmm That's it. Should a I add a little, soup. a little more soup? I knew you were going to say that. The soup's the best part. <laughs> okay. Get some palm oil on top. There we go. Nice and red. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it, guys. Let me bring it here for you. It's just like we've made our own chop bar. Look are. at that beauty. Let's zoom in. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice so and we got steaming our, hot. Yep. All of our cooked stuff there. And our traditional asankain. And so I'm ready to dig in as soon as this cools down. So. All right. So we're wrapping up here. I wanted to show you guys the, the final presentation. Obviously, this is uh, looking really delicious. Um, you know. Let me know what else you guys want me to, to cook or help cook with, with my lovely wife. This was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys try this at home. So uh, to, to get more of our videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, hit that bell icon for all notifications, and uh, we'll be back for the next one soon. So let us know in the comments what you would like us to see, and uh, check out these other videos, you know, also, and uh, let us know. All right, till next time, this is Stella Zone. Bye-bye.